I put in my notes, transparency equals empowerment, but I put a question mark. What do you think about that? What are some of the guidelines that, you know, people in our profession should be giving executives in terms of advice and guidance on that? You know, I spend most of my days talking to senior people about this issue um, in small companies and in large companies. I just got back from Abu Dhabi where I'm doing work for a global bank that's moving from the west into the eastern corridor. And as I went out and did focus groups with people at the front line, this is the issue I hear there just as I hear it here. More transparency. Uh, it's a big issue in publicly traded companies because people are always concerned about disclosure, but in point of fact, we have to go beyond those concerns. We have to really create an opportunity for people to have information at the same time or in parallel with what we have to do on the public disclosure front. Uh, our leaders need to know that in this world that we're in today, uh, that the Cascade model is really dead. It's been dead for a while because of social media and because of the communities that we have inside of companies. And as a result, we have to be transparent. I think we have to be as open as we've just talked about here uh, in these town hall sessions and in the group meetings that we do. I'm driving right now a, a major uh, restructuring program inside of a pharmaceutical company, one of the best in the world. They're going to take about $6 billion in cost out of that company over the next five years. They're telling their people everything they're doing and why they're doing it so that they really will have a stake in it. And I think that's a real issue. A few years ago, I met Bill Gore, who started the company Gore-Tex that you know, and I asked him once, how did you decide the number of people that you really wanted to communicate with as you built the company up? And he said, it's a funny thing, at, a, at 100, we figured out that we had to start a new factory when we reached 100, because at, when you're at 100, that's a community that you can really see and touch every day. But when you go beyond 100, then you start getting into a larger community where it's harder to be as transparent. So I think for all of us, for you, no matter what size you are, counsel your leaders to be transparent. Start with that transparency, and then you'll build that culture of transparency with people as you go forward. It's harder to backbuild it once you've gotten everything going. But is there, I mean, in this day and age with things like Glassdoor or even Secret, um, you know, where anything that you, you say in the room is confidential could end up not being confidential any longer. I mean, what are the protections? What, what can you actually do to keep things confidential that are meant to be that way? Well, I don't think you can tell people that uh, non-disclosure requirements are going to keep them from doing things. You have to build a culture where people protect the information that's important to them. Um, I find this in a lot of organizations that they know what we do with our performance, what we do with our proprietary information really determines our security for the future. So you build that sense with them that if, you know, as we go forward, you really have to be careful about how you share and what you do with, with information as you, as you use it inside of the organization. There are some people, frankly, who will always use the information beyond the company. Mm -hmm. I always tell people if you're going to send something out internally, it's going to go external. It's just going to happen. It's the nature of the game, so you have to prepare for that and make sure that anything you communicate, you're going to be comfortable with others knowing about it. Proprietary information may be a little bit different in terms of manufacturing processes, but on the whole, I'm happy with people knowing how an organization works, and that's what I counsel executives to do.